And Indiana wins the tip, and here we go. Take a look at Indiana in that zone. Goulbay knocks down the first look that she gets for those in a clean manner. Sam Hyvie picked up the personal foul there, and they go deep inside again that time to Holmes, who that time converts for the bucket. Or do you try to drive it? So there's the delineation that, that has to be made in terms of shot selection for Indiana. Second opportunity is good for Pat Bird, a little fadeaway jumper. She goes as we go, and we go as she goes, and she just means so much for the pulse of the squad. CC teams that they fell just short. The good news for them is that they can kind of pinpoint very specific areas where Indiana needs to improve. They had a double digit lead against Kentucky. They shot, as I mentioned, two of 27 for three from Tennessee. And Bourne takes the contact and and one for the sophomore. After only, I mentioned she played three years there and she left as the school's leading scorer with over 1,700 points. She misses her first attempt there, but Heidi done miss inside the lane. Averages just under 18 points, but nine boards for her, so she's always going to be around the basketball, whether she's shooting it or getting the boards. Here on the push, it's more McNeil. And again, they are going to give that touch to Holmes. There's the foul against Kane. I think they were trying to pursue that. This possession, Nebraska hit its first three-point make here of the game, and now they lose it. Here's Bay who picks it up, goes the distance, gets the contact, plus one to the free throw line. It only has seven available players here today. Bay going reverse. She hits every part of the rim for it to drop. Work well for the squad. She picked up her fourth rebound as well. And Indiana on the push. It's Holmes with the finish. So far being left in the game with the two personals and just about four minutes left to play. Here's the takeaway. Berger to Pepper. There's that backcourt duo. Broker knows the last five seconds of that Tennessee game, Lisa is going and fighting for a rebound, she said. She said, I just had to get in there. And, and that's what happened at the very end of that game. She's just so tough-minded and aggressive and competitive. Five out. If, if you include Taylor Kissinger, who actually retired from basketball, Cool Bay starting the third quarter the way she started this game, and that's knocking down the three. And Bourne doing it on one side, trying to take it all the way. Frenetic pace for both teams. See, Holmes has now filled her spot as a starter this year when she came off the bench last season. High beat trying the contacts. Well, it's good to see her back with only seven healthy bodies coming into this contest. Amy Williams did one half, just six. And the two for more McNeil. The first time I had heard of a coaching staff making a job application for the captain position for this team. Yeah, they went through it all. Nebraska to end out the third quarter. Scoggin is too strong. On the push, Patterson with the crossover. Beats the buzzer. Coming over, that's Bourne with the swat. Indiana retains, and a three-point attempt for Cardano Hillary. And the pitch, the starters love it. You have to bring it to the table on your own and expect your teammates to have that same love and fire as well. Cardano Hillary might have called me again that time on the penetration, and she picks up another couple. In that she made her debut against Tennessee in the last game that Indiana played. Was waiting for that waiver. There's the no-look pass leading the break, and it's more than with the finish. Great vision and accuracy on the completion of that play. Deep attempts that time from Stewart. I think for even the high school student athletes, like what that looks like for their recruitment if players who would typically have graduated oh, yeah, absolutely. are staying along for another another year. So now there's a log jam on the Hoosier side, but a 25 point second quarter was the big quarter, the big scoring quarter, at least for Indiana. Followed up at 19 points in the third quarter. Wishing Kim Barzarico and her program well. Michigan State, Maryland is. And that's it. 81 to 45 is the final.